Here is an application question on quadratic functions. The sum of two numbers is 24 and the sum of their squares is 305. What are the numbers? So let us first define variables for the numbers. So say let the numbers be let us say x and y. Now it says sum of two numbers is 24. That means x plus y equals to 24. So we get one equation, right? So let's say this equation is equation number one. Now the second equation is sum of their squares is 306. Now before going there, what we can do is we can write what y is equals to. So y is equals to 24 minus x. And I'll write this as my second equation, which I get from the first one, right? Now the second equation is y equals to 24 minus 6. Now let's read the question once again. It says sum of two numbers is 24 and sum of their squares is 306. That means x square plus y square is 306. Right? So that is another equation to solve. Right? So we have now given equations. With these equations we can always solve for two variables. So to solve, what we can do is substitute y equals to 24 minus x in the third equation. So we'll substitute equation 2 and 3 so that we get an equation in just one variable. So doing so, we get x squared plus y is 24 minus x whole square equals to 306. Now this is the equation which is in one variable, correct? Now since it is in one variable, we can easily solve it by the techniques learned in quadratic functions. So let's try to solve this equation now. So what I will do is take it to the right side of the page. So we just take it here, right? And solve it further. Let me rewrite this. So we have this equation as x squared plus 24 minus x whole square equals to 306. Let me bring it to the left side. So minus 306 equals to 0. Now let's expand. So we have x squared plus 24 squared. So 24 squared, let's use the calculator. 24 squared is equal to 576. So let me first write 24 squared as such. Let me expand this. Minus 2 times ab, that means minus 48x plus b square which is x square minus 306 equals to 0. Now we will rearrange the terms x square plus x square is 2x square so we have 2x square x term is minus 48x and the numbers are 24 square which is 576 minus 306 equals to 0. We can combine this right so so we get 2x square minus 48x and when I take take away 306 from 576 we get 270 so we get plus 270 equals to x now let's solve by factoring so we can factor out 2 first so let me factor out 2 in that case I get x squared minus 24x and half of this which is 135 equals to 0. So we can now use quadratic formula or even factor this. Now how to factor? When big numbers are involved, 135 is a big number. So let's find all the possible factors of 135. So 135 could be 5 times, if I divide by 5, 5 times 2 is 10 and 27. 27 could be written as 9 times 3 or could be written as 3 times 3 times 3, right? Or 9 times 3. Correct. Now that is what, when multiplied, will give you 135. What we need is combination, which when added, gives you minus 24. Minus 24, that means one of them has to be what? So both will be negative numbers, so that when you multiply, you get positive 135. When you add, you get minus 24. How about combining 5 and 3, which is 15, 
and this 9. 15 and 9 when you combine, you do get minus 24. So the numbers are minus 9 and minus 15. When you add them, you get minus 24. That's the kind of rough work which may be required to factor, right? So now we can factor and write this as x minus 9 times x minus 15 equals to 0. Well, when we started with two numbers, we are assuming them to be integers. So, so we knew that there has to be an integer which will satisfy this equation. And that's why we tried it out, right? Now that gives us two possible solutions that x is equals to either 9 or x is equals to 15. Now, what is the y value? y value is equals to 24 minus x. Well, 24 minus 9 will be 15. Well, in this case, 15, if you take away from 24, you should get 9, right? So in any case, you have solution here, right? And so our answer is, the numbers are 15 and 9. So when you add these two numbers, you do get 24. And when you add their squares, you get 306. So that is how you can solve this question. I hope that's absolutely clear to you. Thank you and all the best.